Hey guys, welcome back. It's excellent here. And um we're gonna do a special unboxing today. It's not a tech deck unboxing. It's it's like that, but it's a fingerboard unboxing, but it's different than tech deck. So if you ever want to do start fingerboarding, but you don't have enough money to afford a tech deck or a real fingerboard. If I got a solution for you. I visited Dollar Tree today. I'm not saying they sponsor me or whatever, but I visited Dollar Tree today, and as you know, everything in that store is just a dollar. And I found these. It's called Skate. It's a finger skateboard. And there's there's title. And there's the board, it's kind of falling apart inside. Comes with a complete grip tape and a second board, which you can put these trucks on, and it comes with screws and a screwdriver. So we're gonna open it. Okay, so the grip tape is basically just sandpaper. It's really, it's actually really super grippy. It's one of the best sandpaper grip tapes I've felt in a while. So, here's the complete board. It's got like a skull on it. It's a pretty cool graphic. This is the only ones they had. I mean, they had other ones, but they all had the same graphics so I mean I mean I can't even do a kickflip or anything on it oh my god got an ollie <laughs> yeah it, I mean the wheels are there we go The wheels are pretty iffy. That's what's messing up a lot of my tricks. Is the wheels. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I did one kickflip, which is pretty good. But, um, I mean, I like it. Alright. Move on to the second board. Now this one, it's got to be per This Look at this graphic. That's really cool. I like the graphic on it. But it's got single screw holes. One of them's not even open yet. So I mean, you can see the level of effort that got put into here. But hey, it was only a dollar. So I mean, two completes for a dollar. That's it's a pretty good deal if you want to just fingerboard for fun, buy this for your friend, start buying them, sell them to people, just to start up a little business or something. All right, let me get all these. Now the second complete comes with all the parts you need to make your skateboard. Your fingerboard here. So it's got these trucks. They're plastic trucks with a metal axle, I think. And plastic wheels that have little grooves in them. <laughs> that was messing up my tricks. And I mean, otherwise they look pretty cool. I mean, yeah. And they only come in red wheels. And then we have here on this little piece of tape, we've got two screws and a little screwdriver tool, which I have my own tool, but I will use this tool for now. And they are metal screws as well. So we're going to put this together. And the grip tape is pretty neat too. We're just gonna see how easy it is to put this together with this tool. And I got that screw in, in one turn. I, I mean, first impressions, this is actually, they're, they're decent. I just got it because I think it would be fun to just mess around with some 
cheat fingerboards because we all started somewhere. Usually it's tech decks, but some other people like me had these from like the dentists or wherever you might get them out of a machine at the grocery store. Okay, here's the grip tape. It's got, it says board on it, which is pretty cool. It's sandpaper grip tape and it's got a white back on it. So it's like a sticker and you just We're gonna grip it. Not my best grip job, but it's all right. Board. Yeah, see, I messed up a little bit there, but it'll be okay. I mean, I think I think they're okay. Honestly, if I were to give them a review, one out of ten, I give them a. I'll give them a seven because they're durable, as far as I can tell. It looks like they're made of the same materials, Tech Deck, like that plastic ply, but the wheels are iffy. That's why I'm not giving them any more than a seven. And the trucks are iffy too, they don't turn, they're just flat. And. I mean, you can do tricks. It's got good grip tape. I like the the customization options you can get for them. And I like that they come with tools and stuff like that. So you can really start learning how to fingerboard and stuff like that. So that's that for the Dollar Tree fingerboards. You can get those at your Dollar Tree. And that's where I got them. I'm not sure if every Dollar Tree has them. Alright, on to the second part of this video. We're talking real fingerboard stuff now. I don't use Tech Decks a lot anymore because I got this. This is a pro case. It's a pencil case, but it is very conveniently sized to hold fingerboards and You'll never guess what I got. I got a real fingerboard. Oh my gosh. No, I'm just kidding. This is a tech deck. <laughs> but I customized it. I put real grip on it. So this is like the foam grip and gr cool grip gap. It's one of the coolest ones I've done. And I've customized the trucks. And I just got this at Walmart, Walmart, Tech Deck, and what's that? It's a Yellowwood sticker, so you can kind of tell where this is going. Why, how would I have a Yellowwood sticker if I don't have a Yellowwood board? Well, you see, the thing is, I got a unique fingerboard with Yellowwood trucks and wheels set up and bolts and stuff like that so this is a unique fingerboard and i got this just before the pandemic well no i got this christmas i think christmas 2019 and i've been using it a lot ever since trucks are pretty tight i love i love the wheels i've been wanting these wheels for a long time i love these wheels to the moon and back they will work really well um, and then I did a great job on the grip. Unique is a very good, this is the juvie shape, so it's got very high kicks. It's got the high kicks and high concave and stuff like that. Um, did a grip gap over the juvie, juvie mark. And it was a unique graphic, but if you check out my Reddit, I will put that in the description. Um, it's, um, I, I, I customize fingerboards, put my own graphics on them and sell them to people, make good, I make decent money from it, but it's just something fun I like to do to put a little extra personalization into my fingerboards. So I made my own deck, it's got my face on it, and 
it's like, I don't know, it's just like a cartoon thing. And I drew this. <laughs> I'm trying to make the face, but I can't. I don't have that long hair anymore. Uh, I miss it to death. Um, it's got the, it's got a unique thing on it, and it's got my name. Um, but that's pretty much it. It's got like a cool little blue and black and white pattern. And I drew it with pencil and then traced it over with Sharpie and pens and stuff like that. And, it, and it's got the clear code on it and stuff like that. But if you guys want to check out my Reddit, that's where I do all my other kind of stuff. And yeah, that's my fingerboard. And then I also got Yellowwood Bench, Park Bench. Can't, I would do tricks for you guys, but I'm not really filming tricks right now because I'm not, I don't have the camera set up for it, but I will post another trick video because I only did one YouTube trick video. And I will definitely be posting another trick video soon. So it might actually be after this one. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'll do some tricks with the bench. I'll go through each one of my fingerboards, stuff like that. Like I've got oh, this one right here. It's a P rep fingerboard where I started. P rep, love you guys. Sponsor me. Just kidding. You don't have to. Um, but cool grip, grip job. Um, and also, again, custom deck graphic. It looks super cool. And I love it. Very light board. You can do all sorts of cool stuff with it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I was just kind of giving you guys an update on my inventory here. But thanks for watching the review on the Dollar Tree fingerboards. And hope you guys liked it. See you later.